five mega disasters that can happen tomorrow. Every morning we wake up brings us closer and closer to a catastrophic disaster that could spell, spell doomsday for the entire human race. In the morning, while we enjoy our cup of coffee, a mega earthquake is ready to shake things up under our feet. While we mix milk with our favorite cereal in our favorite bowl, a super volcano is slowly waking up to spread Armageddon. The moment we clock into the office on our daily drive facing rush hour traffic, the ground may open up without warning, swallowing every car, pedestrian and building in its wake. There are so many nightmare scenarios that have a high possibility of happening within the next 3 or 5 decades and there is nothing that we can do to prevent it because nature runs on its own schedule. All that we can do when it happens or before it happens is to stay prepared for the worst. From super volcanic eruptions to a super tsunami that can wipe out an entire chain of the island from the earth, natural disasters are all Number 1. West Coast Wildfires The state of California is no stranger to wildfires. Every year hundreds upon hundreds of acres are burned down by forest fires that seems to be getting worse over time. In fact, in a study made by the US Geological Survey and Forest Service, they reported that the acreage burned by wildfire has skyrocketed to 6.4 million since 1999, drastically tripling from an annual 2.2 acres. If this number keeps on going off, experts predicted that a large portion of the country will be inflamed in the very near future. Also, according to the Harvard School of Engineering and Applied Sciences RCs, wildfire seasons in the United States will be twice as smoky and will last longer by three weeks. Unforgivably burning and scorching massive fortunes of the West each year. Additionally, seas point out that the increase in the Earth's temperature due to climate change has greatly contributed to the worsening situation of annual wildfires. A sea senior research fellow in atmospheric chemistry shares that climate temperature is indeed the biggest factor in determining future wildfires. It is more likely that the fires will get fiercer as climate temperatures continues to rise, she adds. Add more salt to the warm confines to stop forest fires like Smokey the Bear has only exacerbated the problem because it prevents the natural cycle of brush fires that clear out the forest underbrush. The irony unfortunately is not lost here. Today with predictions of 30,000 to 50,000 annual wildfires, the US might eventually end up experiencing its electoral version of hell on earth. Number 2. The East Coast Submerged In 2012, Hurricane Sandy submerged a lot of major U.S. cities underwater, and it was considered by many experts as one of the most devastating freak storms to ever hit the country in 700 years. But with the rising sea level along the east coast of the U.S., we may not even need a storm like Sandy or Katrina to see major cities get swallowed by water. John Boone, Professor Emeritus of the Virginia Institute of Marine Science, outlined a study and claimed that a significant change in sea level has been occurring since 1987, spanning the coastline of Key West, Florida to Newfoundland, Canada. What is concerning about the study is that it shows that sea levels are increasing at 0.3 mm annually. Even more troubling is a study by the U.S. Geological Survey claims that water levels in the east coast of the country are rising three to four times faster than anywhere else in the globe, making plenty of the coastal areas in the northeast a high risk because of property values. The sea level in New York City alone is expected to rise by 31 inches in 2050 submerging 25% of the city as well as rendering 97% of its power plant utterly useless. With about 8 lakh people living in a high-risk flooded zones, former New York mayor Michael Bromberg proposed to create a flood system in 2013 worth 20 billion US dollars to save the sinking city. Unfortunately, the project was never put into action and is now collecting dust in a dark corner somewhere. Number 3. The Eruption of Empty Fuji 
when Japan's entire land mass shifted during the Tohoku earthquake. It also stirred 20 of the country's 110 volcanoes awake after increased seismic activities in their areas were recorded. Even more un unnerving in the fact that any one of those volcanoes may erupt any day according to the Japan Meteorological Agency. No strangers to tremors, Japan has suffered a sufficient amount of damage from earthquakes over a thousand years. However, when we are talking about dormant volcanoes waking up, the whole scenario has added much more fear into the mix. In recent studies, calculations show that Japan is always due for a major volcanic eruption every 38 years, and it seems that the country is overdue for one. Out of the 110 volcanoes dotting the island country, 47 are recorded as active. Among the 47 volcanoes is the famed MT Fuji, standing at a magnificent height of over 12,000 feet. It is one of the volcanoes that are most likely to erupt any time after a report was published by a scientific team from France in Japan. The news caused great concern to Japanese citizens as MT Fuji is located 62 miles from Tokyo. Should the volcano decide to erupt tomorrow, it would mean that about 7 like 50,000 people will be evacuated from the city, as it will most likely be covered in ash and volcanic material, practically decimating the country's capital and nearby areas. Number 4. The Big One Shaking California The likelihood of at least magnitude 8.0 earthquake hitting California in the next few decades was increased by the U.S. Geological Survey called as the big one by many Californians. It is the one earthquake that they say will reduce the entire state into rubble and the one that everyone in the entire country has been nervously waiting for. The U.S. Geological Survey goes even further in their findings saying that a magnitude 8.0 quake or larger has a 7% chance of hitting California in the next 30 years. However, from their recent findings, the odds of a 6.5 and 7.5 magnitude quake ripping through the West Coast state has gone up to 30%. Most likely, the cause of the big one will most likely originate from the breaking of the San Andreas Fault. However, other theories suggest that the mega quake will be triggered by the lesser known Hayward Fault that sits up in proximity to San Francisco. Regardless of the origin, experts all agree on the thing that the earthquake will definitely devastate the entire state of California and neighboring areas on the west coast. Basing their claims on historical database projections, the earthquake will be predicted to cause severe damage to major infrastructure and star full-scale wildfires due to the amount of dry brush that is common in the state. It is essentially a race against time as the White House has recently granted $5 million US dollars to a team of experts coming from U.S. Berkeley, Caltech and the University of Washington to develop an earthquake only warning system that hopefully will alert people a full minute before a tremor hits. Unfortunately, the current system that has been developed is only able to predict a quick 10 seconds before it hits. Number 5. The Caribbean Tsunami in 2001, two researchers from the University College of London and the University of California, Santa Cruz, hypothesized that the imminent eruption of the Cumbervija volcano in the Canary Island will create the largest and more destructive tsunami in recorded history. Published in a co-authored study, Dr. Simon Day from the University College of London and Dr. Simon War from U UC Santa Cruz claimed that during the volcano's last eruption, a large rupture appeared on its left side which has made the geological structure quite unstable. If Cumbervija erupts, the rupture to its side will result in a catastrophic landslide that will create the tsunami that will basically wipe out all the islands in the Caribbean on a scale that can only be compared to the mythical Atlantis. The magnetic waves that are predicted to travel at 800 miles per hour and grow at two, at least 330 feet tall upon the first impact with land, the tsunami is believed to hit as far as Florida within 9 hours of its creation. 
As the rippling continues to build waves, the monster tsunami is also projected to hit as far as England. Dr. J and Dr. Ward paint everything as worst case scenario since it is impossible for an entire landmass to fall into water in one event. Most likely, forces of land and rock from the volcano will tumble into its nearby water gradually, creating destructive waves from its not tsunami itself.